I got a message from Valerie. Valerie wrote, hi, Paul. I really enjoy your videos. Is there a way to create custom captions with arrows on the sides? For whatever reason, I can't convince my supervisor to just let us use smart objects. I think she means smart shapes uh, for this. I've played around with the hotspot anchors and margins on custom captions, but my arrows, just a triangle, always get repeated along the sides of every four pixels. Well, I think what Valerie is referring to is actually kind of an old feature in Adobe Captivate. Prior to having smart shapes, which of course would be my preferred way to do any kind of captions or callouts, uh, what we had were text captions. So when you would add a text caption, you could select it from here and you could further customize that text caption to include uh, a variety of different styles. So you could apply, for example, Adobe Blue, choose the uh, appropriate arrow to have it point to a particular area and so on. What a lot of people don't realize, and this is kind of a hidden feature in a way, is you're not limited to just these choices that you see here. You see there's a folder icon next to the caption type. And if I select that, that opens up this window here. And in fact, here is where all the files associated with these captions are located. But I wanted to emphasize that there is another folder with additional captions that you may not normally go to see. And of course, here they are. So you can see here that you have, for example, these side type captions where you can choose uh, an example like this here and select that and add that to here. So now, of course, I can add a custom caption here. Paul Wilson is here. And then, of course, uh, have the arrow pointing off to the right or left. So just so you're aware, there's more choices to be found in this more folder. And uh, you can go through and, and take a look at the options that are available. There's quite a few more options with arrows pointing to the side. Kind of an old fashioned approach. Again, I would prefer to use smart shapes myself. But, you know, if you don't mind going back to the way things used to be in Adobe Captivate, you can certainly select any of those uh, additional captions that are available to you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.